Thousands of golfers are using the wrong woods for their game. And in this video, I'm going to give you three reasons as to why that might be. And if you identify with them, you might have the wrong woods for your game. So one of the reasons you may have the wrong woods in your bag is all to do with this one, the three wood. Now, as standard, a three wood comes as 15 degrees and it was always second in line to this one, the driver. In the past, we would see that you would go driver, three wood, and then decades gone by, you would probably go into a three iron or a two iron. We don't see many of those knocking around nowadays. But there's a problem I'm finding with the three woods. A lot of people tend to rely on this club when this one, the driver, isn't going too well. But what I'm finding, and I've hit some balls in my studio to test this, is that three woods are getting really powerful nowadays. So I actually was hitting a number of shots in my studio, and I found actually that the distances between these two weren't too far away. This one coming in at 259 yards of carry, and this one coming in at 275 yards of carry. Now, does that make one of these clubs redundant? Does it mean that actually, if your three woods only going 16 yards, or let's call it 10 to 15 yards, average shorter than your driver, do you really need it? because then the gap from your next club might be too big and you could actually put something else in. Or does it make the driver redundant? If you find this a little bit easier to hit, do you really need a driver when this is only going that little bit shorter? So I think firstly, we need to look at the job of that next wood after our driver. Is it now that we maybe get rid of the three wood and we put in place a five wood? So we go driver, five wood, maybe into a rescue club, then on into our irons. Because at that closer margin of distance, when I'm relying on this is my fairway finding club when that's not going to plan, I may as well just use this. Or I may as well just get a little bit more lofted driver. So we've got to make sure that we're not just going down the generic route of driver three wood, because that could be an issue. There's also another issue when it comes to three woods when we get onto fairways. Let's go and take a look at that one. So the other problem with a three wood, and I think a lot of people will fall into this category, is that it's probably used for a second shot a lot on par fours if you can't quite reach the par fours, on par fives where you're trying to advance it down the fairway. But the three wood is very, very hard to hit off the deck. When we see the depth of the face, how deep the face is, compared to maybe a seven wood or a rescue or something like that, it's quite a bit deeper. And also there's not that much loft on there. We know 15 degrees, maybe 14, as where something like your seven wood has got 21 degrees on it. So, you know, six more degrees is gonna be a big, big help to get that golf ball up in the air. Also something like the rescue as well, the way the clubs are designed, a bit more of a smaller compact head, a lot more weight down at the bottom of the golf club. They're designed to pop the golf ball up in the air. They were replacements for the three wood, uh, sorry, for the long irons, but if you get a stronger rescue, maybe 19 and a half like this one or a 20, again, it can do that job of launching the golf ball in the air. I'm just gonna hit three shots here just to show you the different heights that these will come out at and how sort of easier it gets as you progress down the line to hit them. Let's start with the three wood. And a lot of the times as well, you know, when we're trying to hit these three woods off the fairway, it has to be the perfect lie because otherwise, if there's any rough around the golf ball, if it's sat down ever so slightly, because of that lack of loft on this club, it's gonna be so hard to get it up in the air. So you've gotta have the perfect situation to use this club as well. Let's see how this looks as we give it a little clip. I mean, I've hit that as good as I ever could hit it. And it's quite a flat flight, but if you don't quite get it, it's not gonna get that launch up, which means it's not gonna get the carry, which means it's not gonna get the distance you want to try and get down the hole. As where, now if I just went even into the high ridge straight away, this having just four more degrees loft, and like I said earlier, a little bit of a different head shape. The face is uh, a little bit shallower. There's a bit more weight at the bottom of the golf club. As we hit this one, not even my best strike there and the ball's probably 
you know one and a half times higher and it's got the distance it's got out there so for that player that wants to use it as a second shot club it's going to be one like i say that is going to pop it up but even then if we go into the seven wood for me these clubs I like wonder clubs if you are someone who is using a lot of fairway woods for second shots and you're using three woods all the time have a look at how easy this is just to pop it up in the air i mean that's twice the height of my three wood it's launched out there and again i've probably gone not as good a strike but it's still getting a good amount of distance and it's still getting that launch which is critical the amount of times i see players that i play with who are using three woods and they don't quite get it then you're a little bit nervous for the next one as well seven wood five wood as your secondary club for those longer holes you're going to get it up in the air and you're going to actually benefit from it a bit more so take a look is your three wood your main club you might need maybe a five wood a seven or a rescue to actually help you launch that golf ball up in the air so have a look at another reason reason number two that you might have the wrong woods for your game is all about how many woods you're actually carrying in your bag because if we look here i've got more than 14 clubs in this bag now but if you're picking and choosing like i said earlier we tend to see a driver goes in the bag and then people just automatically pick up the three wood and think well that's my next progression but the problem is with iron lofts getting a lot stronger now them starting at four iron generally or a five iron and we're seeing that maybe a pitching wedge is somewhere around a 45 degree as opposed to the 48 degree and sometimes we see it even stronger than that we're forced to have more wedges in the bag so we have four wedges up here and a lot of the problems that i see for maybe mid to higher handicap golfers they fill the gaps with wedges Edges and they don't fill them with woods so they end up having maybe the driver the three wood like we said that might be a little bit redundant and then maybe they go into a rescue club and it might not be enough because if we think about it we probably would only need a pitching wedge a sand wedge and a lob wedge you could survive with three wedges because if you're someone who's struggling off the tee a little bit and then you're getting more and more shots that are needing or requiring for you to hit woods off the fairway and then woods into par threes maybe that three wood might not cut it and the rescue might not be the club for you so have a look at your bag and this is where gapping comes in which is a massive thing that we need to make sure we're doing if we're going to go and spend our hard-earned money on our golf clubs don't just go i'll get a driver i'll get a three wood and then another one have a look at where the differences come because what you want to try and do is make sure from maybe your driver to your three wood off the tee we would potentially see maybe 30 yards difference if you were teeing them up but then we want to try and see that we would have the gaps filled from let's call it 230 to where your four iron would start that went 180 and if you've only got one club either the three wood or the rescue that's trying to do that it's a lot for that club to do so you might be better off dropping something at the bottom end of your bag to then actually maybe put another wood in your golf bag we don't just need to go drive a three wood one other it might be that you need four woods and three wedges instead of four wedges and three woods so have a think about the setup and how many you've got in your bag do you find that you're always in between or not quite there with your rescue or your seven wood do you maybe need a five wood and the three wood have a think about that and get a gapping session with a pga pro and then you'll actually have all the right clubs in your bag for the job that they should be doing third and final reason you might have the wrong wood for your game is all to do with this little thing here the two iron now this is a club i had in my bag the reason i had it in my bag is because i'm a better player so I should be using a two iron instead of a hybrid and that's not the case because each and every golfer is different now for me i'm someone who doesn't spin the golf ball a lot so this club is designed for someone who swings it quick and can get a bit of spin to actually get the launch and the control needed so when i was using one of these it didn't go to plan for me i would maybe use it now and again off the tee off the fairway i really struggled with it and i was almost reluctant to maybe go to something like a seven wood because 
it wasn't cool. But what we need to do, and I see this as well when I have students who come to see me, we need to get the right head shape for our game. The amount of times that I see people walk in with maybe the new low spinning model or the stronger one, when actually you probably need the draw biased model is unbelievable. And we've done it because we've seen some of the pros on the TV using that one. So that must be the best one that we can get as where what we need to try and do is get the club that is right for our game. We need to get the head shape that is actually designed to benefit what we need to do. So for me, I'm here now at 230 yards. That would be a nice number for that two iron, but what I want to try and do is maybe switch to my seven wood because I know I'm gonna launch it in the air. I know I'm gonna get the spin required. And I'm actually using a club now that even on my bad days, if I don't quite get it, I'm actually still gonna get a little bit out of it as well with the two iron, that just isn't the case. And that is point proven there because I've caught that ever so slightly chunky and it's launched up its green side. If I did that with the two iron, it's going down there. So take a look in your bag and think about the clubs that you've bought and think about your game. Maybe if you think about the shot shape you hit or how high your ball goes. If you're someone who's struggling to get the ball in the air and you're using a lot of fairway woods, you're gonna want something like the high launch models where there's a lot of weight at the back of the club head and they're designed to actually pop the golf uh, ball up in the air. If you're someone who does actually use them and they're okay, you maybe want to get something that does give you a little less spin and pops it down there. But just think about those things, get the head shape that is right for your game. So those are three reasons why you might have the wrong woods for your game. Is that three wood the only one that is carrying that is actually redundant because it does a lot of what your driver does and it's very hard to hit off the fairway. Have you got enough woods in your bag? Go through that, get a gapping session. And then thirdly, have you got the right makeup in your woods? Have you got the high launch if you need to get it higher? Are you using a hybrid? Do you have a club that you bought just because you saw some pros using it and you thought that was the right one? Go through those and if you do identify with any of those, I would suggest go and get in a fitting with a PGA professional and then you should get the right woods for your game. If you've enjoyed this one as well guys, why not check out some of the other categories in the bag that you might have got wrong for you. See you in the next one. Enjoy your golf.